Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> so, you guys, we got the green screen set up. How exciting. Thank you to everyone who uh, donated and helped out with this, I guess. Uh, yeah, we got it up and running. So we will do this for now, from now on for like the new video uploads. I think the Big Cherry Retro Reacts will keep to just voiceovers. It's just a lot easier. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. We're going to be checking out uh, Foodie Booty's Kuwait National Day video. I'm hoping it's something, but we never know. I want to be over here in the corner, so I'm not not too in the way. <laughs> Let's dive right in, guys. Shall we? Hello, so in celebration. Hey, foodie. Let's make sure you're turned all the ways up. Of National Day here in Kuwait, I did my makeup with the Kuwait flag colors. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Allah. Mm. So is this just gonna be a mukbang? She got that carb overload meal again. That's that like rice and noodles and ugh, girl. I swear to God, if this is just a mukbang. Hello there. I mean, it's a beautiful country. I wish she would actually tell us more about it and show us more. But, it, you know, here we are just in a drive through probably, getting more food. So I'm starting my day with a chicken shawarma on saj bread. Yum. What a great breakfast. So I watched uh, Girl World Ireland's, like, most recent videos about foodie. And I'm more so along the lines with him now that, like, I think the sciatica claims were pretty fake. Because... You can see a noticeable difference when she's out and about doing stuff and then when she's like having to go to the doctors or actually talking about the sciatica, you can tell there's like a difference. She acts very differently. She needs to get some uh, stronger pigments for the eyes. It's a little, little weak. We were driving by these amazing Kuwaiti villas and I just wanted to show you how beautiful the- huh, Not quite like the villa back in uh, Canada, right guys? Architecture is, and the mosques, of course. My Kuwait eyeshadow. Oh girl, that, that looks rough. Did you try to do like a cut crease or something? That's rough. <laughs> Can y'all, here, let me. Like, yikes. Cute. We also drove by South Subahia Park, which is a new amusement park that was just constructed. Seems like a pop-up, but okay. Amadi. I mean, they look like beautiful places. If you got out and walked, that'd be nice. But just this, okay. That's cool. I feel like I'm riding along with her. <laughs> My vape doesn't pop up. Yo, that's so sus. <laughs> I can now vape without having a... Really, girl? This is, this is it. This is the content, guys. It's pretty. Helicopter just randomly chilling. Probably American. <laughs> Hi guys, so we're here on Kuwait National Day. She only ever fucking goes out and actually gets out of the car at nighttime, dude. What the hell? And It's probably because, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, being a probably very clearly, like, Western woman over in the Middle East is probably difficult. I'm not gonna, like, knock that on her. It's probably a very difficult experience, especially when you don't speak the language. 
here in the Amity Park area and there's tons of nice lights to celebrate the occasion as you can see. So we're just out touring, seeing all the different sites and most importantly, happy 63rd National Day, Kuwait. Yellow, let's go. The way they decorate for National Day is reminiscent to all the lights around Christmas time in Canada. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> there are crowds of people everywhere in different areas of Kuwait. I mean, girl, it looks pretty fucking empty there, but okay. Mostly Kuwait City, so we're going to avoid that because it's going to be hours in traffic. Even here, we've been a long time in traffic already, so... <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's probably a really busy holiday. I don't know what the fuck y'all want me to say. <laughs> this is boring. It's boring. As much as I love to, like, get out and see shit of, like, parts of this country, it's just so boring when it's done through Chantal. Oh, my God. Uh, and still, like, no real appearance from Salah, I don't believe. Aww. I don't watch the live stream, so... I might miss something, but y'all let me know. <laughs> Kuwait celebrates two holidays this weekend, National Day, February 25th, and Liberation Day, February 26th. In 1961, Kuwait became independent of all rule. I'm glad she's going to at least give us some kind of, like, history about it. Making today's National Day the 63rd being celebrated. Sheikh Abdullah al Salim al Sabah played a vital role in Kuwait's independence and became emperor. The al Sabah family still rules today. Liberation Day, February 26, commemorates the day Kuwait was freed from Iraqi forces during the Gulf War. So, okay. for any newcomers, welcome. I'm... Call for is that old Canadian citizen, and I've been residing in Kuwait for about a year now with my husband, and I love this country so much. So I'm happy to celebrate. You don't show us that all that often, girl. Today, it's such a peaceful country, and I love hearing the Adan playing on the streets as a Muslim revert, and I love the beaches, the malls, the people are awesome, the food is. I mean, you show us plenty of the food. I'll give her that. But you don't show us any of the other stuff. Amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> easy, girl. She's becoming more, like, rotund. Oh my god, Salah, you couldn't be bothered to fucking help her. Also, like, didn't Salah just have surgery and he's out and about doing stuff? Definitely no heavy lifting, huh, Salah? As you can see here, it's a straight traffic jam back to back on the seaside road that leads to the Al Kut area because there's going to be fireworks in about an hour and a half. So it's traffic. In America, as soon as it starts to get dark, we're lighting those babies off. <laughs> Jams all over, like I said. Non-stop traffic. <laughs> you would want to go out in that? Non-stop beeping as well. <laughs> it looks like hell. <laughs> this seems like a lawless land. <laughs> These fucking cars. The moon overlooking the Gulf Sea is beautiful tonight. Moon in Arabic is Amar. Fascinating. This vehicle is sporting a Qatar flag. We have some viewers from Qatar, so this is your shout out. They're probably like, go, 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 the Americans filming us. Hello, guys. Oh my god, and now it's a mukbang? Come on, dude. I was really hoping this wasn't going to be the case. I need to take a mental break.
Welcome to a very special video. Oh, we've, and we've got the cranberry juice and the yogurt. Oh God. Mukbang. Um, today I'm going to be eating some Kuwaiti food, and uh, yeah, so let's get to. Let's get to. Uh, I thought you said that stuff was Egyptian, or am I wrong? I'll show you what I ordered in a minute, but first things first, we have some lentil soup. Okay, this is a huge portion of lentil soup compared to the other places I get it from. So, and it's a bit messy, so let me try. <laughs> it came in like a nice ass bowl. It's a bit more liquidy too. All right, let's try this. Bismillah. The exorcist, man. <laughs> wow, yummy. Surprised she didn't get in a bread bowl. It's so hot. You do I have just fine, juice. it seems. Yogurt. And... The food comes in this huge box. Wow. Girl. Comes with a plastic thing if you want to eat on the ground. No idea what this is. I spilled some soup. My bias sleep went right inside of it. So that's why these plastic things are important. Yeah, because fuck cleaning. <laughs> Let me finish setting up. All right, I'm finished. What I guess this? it's not the wow. same. This looks so good. I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna hear cars doing all kinds of things. Look at all know. that, guys. That's just how it's gonna be. Especially today, national holiday. What was that, chicken? No, I don't, let's see what this is. Is this olive oil? It's probably garlic oil shit you like. Oh, it's butter. Yeah. Girl. Okay, let's put that on the rice. Exactly what you need. Butter? Squeeze bottle? I like this place. What's this? Hot sauce? Yeah, let's put some. Yalla. Yalla. Mabuch. Woo! Let's put some. She so, does such a mash poor job. is my favorite Kuwaiti dish. I've had it many times on this channel. Um. So that's why I'm eating it. <laughs> like, try something else. I was gonna try the Zubaydi, but I don't. I'm not hungry for fish today. Okay, girl. What is this? Oh, it's like a sauce for the chicken, I think. Oh, some kind of pickle. Oh. She's gonna cram all this down in seven minutes, you guys. Holy fuck. Oh my god, my butt's getting sore. I need to get a better chair. I'm just using, cause we're up in my painting studio now. So I need to get a better chair because I'm just using my stool that I paint in and it's very uncomfortable. Let's try all this stuff. Let's try the chicken wing. Like a little rat. That's really good. I bet. Where's my spoon? Okay, the daku sauce. That's These are little lentils, rice. onions, raisins, and the rice is so flavorful. It's so good. Oh, I'm sure, dude. Mm. There's no way in hell you're going to tell me that she's still losing weight. Please. Please. If anything, now she's looking bigger than ever. Delicious. This is all rice. I'm going to try the sauce. Mm. I don't know what it is. What I like about this place is the amount of sauces they give you. <laughs> you know me. Saucy gal. So yeah, I love Kuwait. Do you? We didn't get to see the fireworks because we were waiting and like they weren't on time and the traffic was just so bad. But we did get to see quite a bit of lights and stuff like that. And Girl, you walked around a park. People with flags. How wonderful. You got the real full experience. I love hot sauce. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell. So yeah, this is chicken mash. It was my favorite Kuwaiti dish. <laughs> Seems like the rice is your favorite. I hate the noises, dude. Oh. You're probably wondering, like, what do you love so much about Kuwait? Well, of course, initially that my husband was here. <laughs> but now that he's gone. But it's really hard to describe the vibe of the Gulf countries and the Middle East if you don't visit here. It really is. Even I had different expectations of it. Can you tell us what those were? And I was surprised. Oh my God. 
Ew, you're giving that just like to the cat, dude. I was really surprised by how different it was than I'd imagined. Obviously, as a Muslim, it's a halal country, if you will. I love how you can hear the call to prayer all over the country. Do you think she prays, like, all the times a day that you're supposed to? So those of you, actually, I should probably say this, but those of you who haven't seen any of my other Match Boost videos. I'd rather not. It's a Kuwaiti chicken and rice dish. And the rice is made with, like, spices. Sounds like everything else you've eaten on here. Basmati rice, like lentils and raisins. And this is Dakusa tomato garlic sauce. I think they use things like seven spice. And there's a lot of things to love about here. Overall, I love living among a different culture. Doesn't seem like you're integrating yourself into it as like all that and much. Partaking in it. Dude, she's hardly had any of the chicken. It's just this fucking rice. Oh my God. She's one of the worst diabetics I've ever <laughs> I think seen. I cooled down a bit. I'm gonna try. Girl. This rice has about eight different sauces on it. So this weekend is, so February 25th is National Day. And tomorrow the 26th is Liberation Day. So National Day uh, is um, when Kuwait became its own, you know, independent country it's it was free from any rule thanks mm -hmm. to the sheikh sheikh al sabah who that the al sabah family is still ruling today and liberation day is when they were free from in 1991 from the iraqi forces in the gulf war so that's what they're celebrating okay do you like living in kuwait meow <laughs> anyways guys i'm gonna finish my dinner i just wanted to show you a bit of what i'm having and just um a bit of today and a bit of the festivities that we observed. Um, Not much. Would have liked to see the fireworks, but they, they were running late. We don't even know when they were going to start. They were supposed to be at 8 p.m., but it's still crazy up there. You can hear it. So <laughs> anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And happy National Day and Liberation Day, Kuwait. Bye. Bye, foodie. Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you for watching. It's going to probably be... A shorter video not much happened it was rather boring so that's foodie for you i guess we'll figure it out <laughs> anyways guys thank you so much for watching uh we got the new setup we're gonna go from here and figure it out as we go but thank you guys so much for your continued support i really do appreciate it uh let me know your thoughts down in the comments like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care